This GSI Football Spotlight brought to you by Uncle D's Sports Bar and Grill. Uncle D's, it's where your friends are. Beautiful night. Great crowd. The buzz around Spratt Stadium. How would Missouri Western respond to a disappointing week one loss to Pitt State? The Griffins gunning for redemption at the expense of 12th ranked Central Missouri. The Mules running for their lives from the get go. David Bass running over quarterback Tommy Corwin. That was just an appetizer for what was to come. Griffins got the scoring started midway through the first. Quarterback Travis Partridge keeps it himself, shoves the protection out of the way, and has open space. A lot great up front. I mean, did I get touched by a central player? I don't think so. A 68-yard touchdown run. Fans loving it. So are the coaches. Griff's up 7-0. Stay that way till the second quarter. Griffin's a little closer to the end zone this time. Partridge to Terrell Downing, who discovers gold. Partridge 109 yards passing, 95 yards rushing. Sack zero times, five less than last week. 14-0 Griffs. Just before half, Central knocking on the door. Corwin's pass tipped by Bass, intercepted by Peaster. The duo had a huge night. Griffins go to halftime up 17-3. Third quarter, more D. Corwin passing again. Bass, another tip. Jeremy Weston this time comes down with the INT. His first of two picks on the night and the mules going nowhere but backwards bass blows up corwin again and then on the very next play the same result david bass ties a school record with four sacks on the night start of the fourth quarter kicker greg zerline the transfer from uno a 51 yard field goal is good it would have been good from 61. griffs go up 20 to 6 and then more defense ben peaster a sack the very next play, how about the same thing? Are you noticing a trend here? It was an absolute broken record tonight for Western. The Griffs with seven total sacks on the night. Western dominates and upsets Central 23 to six, the final, a complete and total effort by this football team. Played great, played unbelievable on defense. Just a tremendous pass rush day for us. We got after it, covered great. That's a very good football team. I thought we played high level. Uh, we knew we had to do on offense, we competed, uh, just a great win. The last week we played Pitt, there was more of a mesh, triple offense type of team. We got to kind of stand the line of scrimmage and just hold. This week we pin our ears back and go. Coach gave us, you know, free go yesterday. He said, do what you got to do to get the quarterback, so. Because we're the type of defense that wants to just get after it. We don't like waiting around on the line, waiting for plays to develop. We want to get back and whoop somebody, so. The O-line did their job, the receivers did their job, the running back does their job, and, and that gives us the whole offense just a boost. And I think seeing those sticks move and, and, and seeing us move the ball, especially what happened in week one, it was just like everybody keeps saying, it was night and day. And realistically, could you have predicted that you would have kept that team out of the end zone? No. <laughs> That's a good football team. They're a really good football team. Um, but we just, as a defense and all-around football offense, we put it together tonight.